Hey y'all, welcome back to AMA Friday with Amy Miller, recruiting in yoga pants per usual, every day. That's the quarantine uniform. <laughs> Hope y'all are staying safe and safely at home and safely employed. It's been rough out there. Uh, a bunch of my friends are starting to be affected by layoffs and, and it just sucks. So praying for y'all, hoping things wrap up quickly and we all get back to health and better times. Okay, enough about that. Let's talk about business impact. This is my favorite topic. <laughs> I, I love this concept and I don't get to talk about it as often as I would like. So I have a captive audience or maybe you'll just stop watching. That's fine too. My dad watches all these. So I, at, least, at least I know I've got one person who lives for my videos. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> How's the Cadillac treating you? You just bought a new car. Okay, so business impact. And I, I want to talk about this from a couple different perspectives. One is from as a recruiter and how I know I've got a handful of recruiters that, that watch this regularly. So I want to kind of think about what it means for you, but then also think about business impact from a job seekers perspective and, or somebody who's applying for a role or somebody who is interviewing those kinds of things. So how does this apply kind of on all, all fronts, right? So when I think about business impact, we're starting from the job description. So this is the recruiters bread and butter. We live and breathe these all day long. Uh, we don't always get to write them. It depends on the company. I know, some are great, some are not. <laughs> but just know, usually there's a bunch of legal people and other points of contact that have to approve them. So starting from a job description, and let me give you a quick plug from my good friend, Katrina Kibben. Katrina is a star. I love this woman. She's a good friend of mine. I finally got to meet her in person and hug on her not too long ago. I just, she's somebody that I've been professionally connected with for years and I just think the world of her. And I'm mentioning her to you because she runs a company called Three Ears Media that teaches recruiters how to write better job copy and better job descriptions. So if you have a budget and if you have the means to hire this amazing woman, Three Years Media, check her out. I'll put her contact info in the pinned comment, but she's great. So if job descriptions are giving you a hard time and if you're in HR and recruiting, call Katrina. Okay, going back to business impact. So we, we start with a job description, whether we're a job seeker, whether we're a recruiter, this is kind of our entry point, right? This is where we get started with our relationship with a potential company or with a potential hiring manager. And so we look at the job description and we're trying to figure out what is this person gonna do? So from a recruiting perspective, I'm looking at the skills that we need. I'm looking at the responsibilities someone's going to accomplish on the job. And these are very tactical things, right? And there are reasons that we have basic qualifications and we have these measurable uh, things that, that we're looking for, you know, X number of years of experience, um, skilled in X coding languages or whatever, you know, I, I live and breathe tech, but it could apply to anything, <laughs> whatever the job requirements are. And so we really focus in on that and we draw our keywords from that. And for job seekers, you're getting those same keywords and you're dropping them in a resume. I get it and, and I understand that those are important and we can't not think about those factors, but I wanna push you a little bit further on this idea. I want you to think about what is this job actually going to do? What, what is the impact, the person that's gonna come in and fit these requirements and accomplish these responsibilities on a day-to-day -day basis, what is the impact? So when we're talking about business impact, we're really drilling into what is the business problem that we're trying to solve? I cannot tell you how many times in my career I have sat down with a hiring manager, great, you need to hire a software engineer. 
got it. I'm your girl. I'm going to find you the best person. This is going to be great. We're going to be besties by the time this is over. <coughs> what is the business problem that you're trying to solve here? And I get blank looks. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Just go find me an engineer, crazy lady. <laughs> I've seen and heard it all, believe me. Here's the big idea. I need to understand the story. I need to understand the impact. I'm looking for those, those accomplishments, the things that someone's gonna do and how it applies to the bigger picture. It's not just, hey, I'm gonna go hire a software engineer at Microsoft, which I've done a lot. And I loved my time at Microsoft. I've said that before, I pick on them a lot because it was a couple jobs ago and I feel safe talking about it. <laughs> but no, I had a great time there and I loved it and I loved hiring engineers for them. And here, Bing Ads, I actually recruited for Bing Ads. I love this jacket. Uh, but you know, the idea was, okay, great. So we're, we're hiring engineers for being ads and that's wonderful. And they need to have certain criteria and they need to have certain skills, but what's the problem we're solving here? And so getting the managers to actually explain that to me. And I had one manager who was amazing. He would actually whiteboard things out and, and it was just all this crazy data and, and pictures and lines and how it all fit together. And by having that insight, I was able to tell a story. I was able to get on the phone with prospective engineers and say, hey, not only are you gonna come in and write some code, but this is how you're directly impacting the financial bottom line. Look at our last earnings report, that line right there, that's your work. You're gonna do that. Bing ads, revenue, it's right there. You can see the impact of your work. And so having that kind of story to tell really gets job seekers excited. So if you're a recruiter, I want you to think about that. Now, if you're a job seeker watching this and wondering, well, what the hell does this mean for me? <laughs> Why am I watching this week? This isn't relevant. Ah, oh, but my friend, it is. And here's why. I want you to push your recruiters on this. I want you, the next time you take a recruiter call or a job is interesting enough that you're at least gonna get on the phone, ask them, what impact am I gonna have? What is the business impact of me coming in and doing this? How am I impacting financial, um, something? I mean, who knows? It could be any number of things. It could be money, it could be shipping a new feature. I, I don't know. I mean, these are questions I want you to ask. I want you to really dig into what is the impact that I'm gonna have here? And let me tell you why this is important. Ultimately, whether they realize it or not, this is the love language of hiring managers everywhere. They are all tasked with solving a problem. They all have a set of things that they have to do between now and their next review. They all wanna get a good review just like you and I. We wanna be top performers, we wanna be superstars, we wanna get that equity award. So do the hiring leaders, so do the managers who need you to come in and perform a function and address those roles and responsibilities, right? By being able to articulate how you can help solve their problems, you're tapping into their emotional currency. You're figuring out things that are important to them and how you, with your expertise, with your X number of years of experience, with your proven ability to do this, that, and the other, you're showing them how you can solve business problems. And that, my friends, is the heart and soul of what we're trying to do here at Recruiting in Yoga Pants. We are solving business problems through talent. That is my mantra. I will stand by it until they send me out. Don't let me recruit anymore. Let's hope that doesn't happen because I'm not qualified to do anything else. All right, business impact, let's hear it. I wanna know how you have made an impact and what impact you wanna make next. So drop me a comment, send me an email, amy at recruitinginyogapants.com and we will see you in a week. Bye friends.